Each of these students were chosen because of the specific roles and responsibilities that they play in our center. Um, throughout the course of their academic career at Duquesne, each of these students have stepping up to the plate to serve the Office of Diversity and Inclusion in many ways, um, whether that's leading the PREO program, being on the executive board of one of our many student organizations, or just volunteering to help us serve our community partners, as well as our campus partners in creating a more diverse and inclusive campus community. And so the process in selecting these students wasn't an easy task. As I'm sure you understand, there's several student leaders on our campus and through our office and center that we felt were deserving. But these students, these students stood the test of time and have been consistent in their efforts and their work with us. And I believe will continue to be involved as they graduate and become excellent alum. These award winners are special because they're well-rounded students inside and outside of the classroom. Um, they take on volunteer efforts. Um, they're there whenever we ask them for anything, they're there to help out. Um, and they also excel in their student groups and academics. I really enjoy helping people to the best of my ability and the way I do it is it doesn't matter who the person is, where they come from, what they stand for, they're human so I help them as much as I can. When I first got the news that I was um, selected for the position, I was also told that I was the first person of color and women of color to be selected. And of course, I started crying. Um, it was just such a huge honor to have that role. You know, we should be more inclusive. We should be more diverse in everything that we do, especially here at Duquesne. I believe I was selected for the Spirit of Diversity Award because of my willingness to get involved. I uh, always had a passion to help others. And as I got an older, it's been like a pleasure to be able to be a mentor to some of the younger students. My freshman year, I did the pre-orientation program, and then when the school year started, I joined the Black Student Union, and I just kept going to different like organizations. The organizations that I'm involved in here at Duquesne include the Asian Student Association. I've been on the executive board for two years so far, um, but I'm still like a four-year member. Um, I was part of the founding and building up of the Filipino American Student Association here. Um, so it's a small community, but uh, we've been able to find our little family here at Duquesne. Um, I'm also a part of the Biomedical Engineering Society, the Society of Women Engineers, um, the Integrated Honor Society, a lot of different um, organizations. Growing up, my parents always instilled in me that um, there's always something that you can contribute. And so whether it's like your time, your talent, your treasure, there's always something to give. I would say that diversity, equity, and inclusion means providing resources and support so that all students can succeed. I think that I was selected because I really do try to bring diversity in every aspect of the things that I do. So I'm currently serving the diversity board of the School of Pharmacy, so it's through that. I am on the Student National Pharmaceutical Association, which is originally a group for minorities in pharmacy to kind of network and help out with the community and do community service. I have worked very closely with the office since I think my sophomore year. I did the pre-orientation program, I loved it, got involved, and I went from being a leader to being a director and really working closely with Ms. Amber, Dr. Mallory, and Dr. Kane. Really passionate about racial justice and a lot of my passion is put towards community engagement on Duquesne's campus. Um, I've hosted a number of different student discussion panels talking about uh, racial challenges of AAPI students and faculty and I think a lot of my community engagement has been devoted at Duquesne so I think that was a big reason why I was selected for the Ron Swain Award. I think I was selected for the award because I really pour everything into what I do and I think that kind of shows in my work as part of the Black Student Union as well as a resident assistant and also just a student here at Duquesne. Diversity, equity, and inclusion is all about action and being proactive and really taking into account everybody, especially underrepresented populations and what's disproportionately affecting them and how can they be supported and what resources do they need to make sure that they can still thrive in whatever environment.
I chose Duquesne because specifically my aunt came to Duquesne for pharmacy way back when. And my aunt is someone who I really look up to because she actually immigrated um, from Africa, from Cameroon here with my mom. So they both came to Pittsburgh, you know, looking for education, looking for a better life. Her and I said, if she can do it at Duquesne, so can I. I ended up coming to Duquesne because my mom, she's originally from Pittsburgh. Uh, yeah, a few years ago, I had a cousin, Ricky Murphy. She graduated from Duquesne. And I came and visited her and I fell in love with the school. It's a very collaborative culture here at Duquesne. So I feel very comfortable reaching out to professors, other students, either younger or older, getting their perspectives on you know, how to finish this homework assignment or what's the best way to change my design for this prototype. I was able to study abroad in New Delhi, India. Um, for three weeks in the summer, I studied uh, global research ethics at the All India Institute for Medical Sciences. I absolutely loved the fact that it was city adjacent, but it had like a real campus. And I also liked the fact that it was like a smaller school, more of a chill environment, because I feel like I'm a fairly introverted person. I don't like everything going on at once, but when I want to go out and do things, I can. When I want to come home and like feel safe, I can. And of course, the pharmacy school was excellent. I looked at their like match rates and their placement rates, and they were wonderful. So the center has really helped me evolve in becoming a student leader. They have been super helpful with promoting a lot of the events that I've done on campus and even helped collaborate with one of my student discussion panels with recruiting people for the panel and also promoting it for audience to attend. So they've really uplifted my passions and my motivation to engage with the Duquesne community. My first experience at Duquesne as a student was a part of the pre-orientation program. And that was really what kind of brought me into Duquesne. I got to meet new people. I made my first couple friends at the pre-orientation program. And so from there, talking to Dr. Tone, Anthony Kane, talking to Ms. Amber, they really, really have helped me to grow and even just check on me. I pop in the center all the time to be like, hey, this is my day right now, <laughs> and kind of vent or just ask the question. They're always there and they're always so supportive, and so I appreciate it. Looking into programs, Duquesne had a really good forensic science and law program. The curriculum was, it had a lot in it, and it was very versatile in terms of if I wanted to do something like blood spat or if I wanted to do DNA, it really had a good mix of everything so that I could be prepared for whatever I wanted. Overall, I've been proud of uh, different achievements here at Duquesne. Just getting involved, I would say, I would even count as a win. Just like surviving COVID-19 and be able to go from learning online to getting back in the classroom. But uh, last semester, I made Dean's List, and that was something I was proud of. I'm so thankful for Anthony and the Center because they have been such role models for me. The Center has been very integral to my overall experience at Duquesne. I met my best friends literally my first day here through the center. One thing that everyone should know about Duquesne is no matter what field you choose or no matter what paths you take here, there's always going to be a group of people that will be friendly to you and that will support you. No matter if it's students or professors, they'll, you'll have people behind you. My proudest accomplishment here at Duquesne has been serving as the president of the Black Student Union for sure. The staff there has always been incredibly supportive in everything that I do. So in terms of the organizations I'm a part of, if I have an idea, I run it through the office and they will move mountains to make that happen. What makes me the most proud um, is to be able to say that I am the director for diversity and inclusion at Duquesne. Um, and that I get to serve the most excellent and brilliant students in the city of Pittsburgh and in our region. The most rewarding part of my job is seeing students graduate and then keeping in contact with them after they graduate to see all of their accomplishments. We come to work every day to serve them. It's our mission. And so they bring a fire and passion to our center that makes us really want to keep going. 